Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to Move Daily Fitness. I'm Tracy. Okay, today's workout is a creative compound workout. Compound exercises use the multi-muscle, multi-joint, so there's a lot going on. We're gonna do that three repeater format. So I'll do an exercise once, 30 seconds of work, 10 seconds in between. We'll repeat it for three rounds, then move on. If I want to do one side for 30 seconds and the other side for 30 seconds, we'll repeat everything for four rounds to make sure it's equal. Okay, we'll start you with a warm up and end with a cool down. Grab a variety of dumbbells for the workout today. That's all you'll need. All right, ready to do this workout and move daily? Me too, let's do it. Okay, probably something like functional strength in the workout today. Uh, let's start with a single side circle right here. Warm up the ligaments and joints, then we'll get you going. Switch directions. Good, switching sides. It's that time of year where it's freezing when you come down to your workout space. But in three to four minutes, we'll be warm. <laughs> I, I always, I'm like, eh, switch directions. I don't want to go down there. I know I'm going to heat up shortly, but it makes it a little bit more challenging. I got to get that deep motivation. All right, so let's squat and reach right here. Push those hips back. And some heel digs, sweep the ground and alternate. Last one here. Good. Some hip openers up and around. Get that ball and socket warmed up there. Last one here, and hold on to something. We're gonna hinge forward at the waist and just do some leg extensions. 15 a leg here. There's five, nice hinge forward. Five more here. Switching sides. There's 10, last five here. Nice, come to standing. Hands are one behind the head, one behind the back. Alternate here, big reach. Crack, crack. <laughs> My wrist on this one side is always click, click, click. Three more. And let's do a little heel dig right here and push. Just increase the blood flow a bit. High knee and press right here. Okay, butt kick and a little extension kick out. And finishing off with your torso turn. And we'll get going again, that three repeater. So we'll hit everything for three or four rounds, depending if we're alternating sides or staying on the same side. Very nice. Okay, there's the first set. Grab your dumbbell, and here we go. I'm starting just with my five pound dumbbells for my sumo squat, curl, kick out, stick your chest out, and drop this low. So we drop low, curl, and kick. Good. So it's gonna be whatever you can kick out here. Again, sometimes when we wanna build muscle, we isolate specific muscle groups so that we can lift heavy 
in that regard, right? So like for bicep curl, I could lift a lot heavier than the five, but for the kick out, I've got to keep it light. So maximizing multi-muscle and heart rate as well. Good, all right, tap that out. Two more rounds, change weights if you need, and drop it here. Don't shrug, shoulders are low away from the ears. I'll stick with fives, feels good as I'm warming up still here. Round three, and drop. I'll take these fives down to the ground for my Russian twist. We're gonna do 30 seconds per side here. All right, we'll do four rounds. Feet off the ground if you can. So we reach and punch. Reach that elbow back and punch. You can modify this with, again, your feet on the ground, just leaning back with a nice tall back, okay? And rest, switching sides. You could also eliminate one of the weights, just hold one in your hands. All right, switching sides, and we reach and punch. Good. To bring that elbow down toward the ground. Good, switching sides again. One more each side. Back is flat and reach and cross. And switching sides, one more round here, then we'll stand. Okay, reaching back and punch. Okay, make your way to standing and we'll give you 20 seconds just to grab those heavier weights. I'm grabbing 15s for my static lunge hinge. Again, you've got two times on each side. Start with that static lunge, shoulders back, and then we'll hinge, drop, up, and right there into the deadlift.
switching legs. Other side, I'll show you the side view. Pelvic tilt and we drop and hinge. Switching legs again, and I'll stick with 15s. Pelvic tilt, shoulders back. side, I'll show you the side view. And hinge. one weight down, sticking with my 15 for my squat twist press. Goblet here, and we drop, twist and push, watch your face, other way. Good. Round two coming up. All right, one more here. I'll stick with the 15, it feels good. And drop. Grabbing a 10 for my front lunge, press to the knee. All right, we're alternating, hold the weight here. So we lunge, press, knee here. And rest. Switch weights if you need. I'll stick with the 10. Alternate the lunge.
One more here. It's getting the heart rate up. And work. Grabbing my 15s for my suitcase squat deadlift combo. Hit your shoulder width apart, drop it here. Hip hinge and stand. Dumbbells at the side, move to the front and stand. squat. Okay, good. Let's move down to the ground, grab a sip of water before you go down there, if you need. All right, I've got 12s down there, bring in my eights for my full sit-up overhead press. Okay, palms facing, sit up here. So you're up and press. Stay in that seated position for just a press if you can't do this full sit up. Nice and tall when you hit the press. Okay, very good. Whew, arms are feeling that. Round two, sit up, press, and work. Here, Whew. I'm feeling that press right now. Round three, here we go. last year and I'm grabbing those 12s for my chest fly knee in 
rounded arms, nice and slow and controlled. So we round, switch, round, switch. Keep those legs off the ground if you can. Activating the abs, but push your lower back into the ground. Of course, you can eliminate the legs if you'd like. Focus on the chest. And rest. Whew, yeah, try to keep those legs off the ground. Just such a good ab exercise here too. And open. Switch. Last one here. Think of doing that pelvic tilt to push your back into the ground. And work. Okay, I'm going into the kneeling position, holding my 12s for my curl press. Kneel here, you could stand if you wish. So we curl, press, very nice. Elbows are in, stay tall. Keep that core activated to keep your balance. Okay, very nice. Rest for two seconds. Switch legs if you like. This is all arms, so legs are a bit irrelevant, but shoulders back, curl, press. Good. Nice activation of some stabilizer muscles, though, is that, you know, you're not on two legs, so it makes you feel a little bit more tippy. Whew. All right, last one here. And we'll go back to standing. Very nice, you've got about 20 seconds to grab your weights, get into position. Grab some water too, if you need. Moving into your kickstand deadlift high pull. I'll hold a 15, twice on each side, plant that kickstand and hinge at the waist. So we hinge, stand and high pull there. Switching sides, switching hands, planting that kickstand, leading with the chest here. And we're down, stand, and high pull.
really reach your hips back. Switch again, sticking with my 15. It's gonna be whatever you can high pull. Here we go. And switch one more. Okay, roll that shoulder back. Knee is soft and we hinge. Remember not to let that dumbbell slip into your fingertips. You want to be holding it in the meaty part of your hand. All right, so you don't want to exacerbate the tendon in the elbow by letting the weight hang in your fingertips. Into that dumbbell swing lunge combo. Stay on this side for 30 seconds. We'll do four rounds. Hip hinge here, drop here. Good. Hinge, pop, and drop. Switching sides. All right, wider stance and hinge and drop. Switch again. Hip hinge. Last one on the other side. All right. Wide stance. Grabbing my fives for my side lunge front raise. Twos, threes, fives here. Same side. A full 30. So we lunge and raise. Same side. Now you need to keep a nice flat back. If you find that too challenging, you could lunge at the, uh, raise at the top right here instead.
Switching sides. Same upper body movement. All right, side lunge here. sides again. One more each side. switch. One more lunge on this side. And then we're down on our back for that starfish ab. Here we go. Okay, holding these same dumbbells. Three rounds here. We're gonna come up and tap. Lie on your back for a low impact mod if you need. All right, we alternate. And rest. Whew. Stretch my thighs out a second. Round two. Here we go. And rest. We'll be uh, moving into a no equipment exercise on the ground next. So stay down here. Okay, set those down. Forearm plank rotation, we'll come down to the stomach, push up and rotate, alternating sides. So stomach here, up and rotate, back to stomach, push up and rotate, other side. Good, if you can't hit the rotation because of shoulder issues, just hold the plank from the elbows and you can mod from the knees. Rest. I feel like I want to go this way. Round two. Here we go. And stomach. Rotate. Back to stomach. Other side. Reach. Let's 
a good pec stretch, isn't it? Good, one more here. Doing well, folks. Okay. Core engaged. And we push, reach. Okay, make your way up to standing again. Take your time if you need to grab a quick sip. Feel free. And there's the next set. Holding my 12s, getting in some biceps with that reverse lunge kick. You can reverse lunge tap if you're tippy, 30 seconds per side. All right, so you're low, curl and kick. Good, slow and controlled. I pick a spot out in front of me, try to stay focused on that. That helps me with balance. Don't swing the dumbbells at the bottom. Ooh. Okay, good. Switching sides. Shoulders back. Nice and tall. Sides again. Switch one more time here. Putting 112 down into my plie, tricep skull crusher. Everything is up, everything is down. Drop it low, press and flex. You could hold your dumbbell this way, dumbbell, or lengthwise, whatever you like best. I'm gonna move up to my 15. Round two.
that was a better weight. One more here. Last year, move into my squat iron cross. I'll hold eights, ceiling, side, center, and down. Shoulders back. Squat it here, up, side, center, down. Here. We're getting there, folks. Doing well. One more, one more. All right, last exercise of the group. I'm gonna hold 12s for my bent over row, bicep curl, hinge at the waist. And we row, stand, palms up, curl right here. Hinge, row, stand and curl, good. I'm gonna move to 15s, that's a bit light for me. And hinge, nice tight core in that hinge forward position. You want your back flat. Stick the chest out. One, everyone. Last exercise here. Here we go. Work hard. In three, two, one and done. You move daily in your compound workout, creative compounds. Lots of different muscles activated today. Join for a stretch if you can. Good work, everyone. Let's do a standing stretch today. I want you to hinge forward at the waist, 
One elbow's on the leg, reach across, and then let's give a rotation here. Push the thumb to the ceiling, roll that wrist here. Whew, good work, everyone. Nice little muscle fatigue going on. I've got a little shaky shake syndrome, switch sides. Yes, I do. I've been having some heavier sessions, not this one, just because there is, it's hard, like I said at the beginning, when you're, let's just uh, grab the elbows, a little rotation here. When you're doing compound exercises, like, like this type of compound, like a squat is a compound exercise because you're using multi muscles and joints in it, right? But we use a squat for an example to increase lean mass and strength in our quads and glutes. Um, but this type of compound where you're really using the whole body, upper body, lower body at the same time, I think it's great for functional movements, uh, functional patterns where you're having to activate the legs and the upper body at the same time. We're pushing things, we're pulling things in our life, right? And so I like to train it periodically, but when you do, you realize too that you're gonna have to pick the weight that the weakest muscle can complete with good form. So it may not be what the stronger muscle that you're also compiling it with can do. So in that regard, uh, open up on your chest if you have something, a wall, couch, chair. So in that regard, it's not as beneficial for building lean mass as a isolated exercise like a chest press, which is still a compound exercise because again, multi-muscle, multi-joint, but we're isolating just one muscle group and thinking about one muscle group, not multiples. So this might be a good workout to throw in at the end of the week, say for an example. I did some heavy lifting earlier in my week and then I wanted something that I'm moving all of the parts but I'm not exhausting anything specifically. And a workout like this is, gr is great for me to do that. Oh, good. Uh, let's go into that four position, hold on to something if you need for balance and just sit down into that glute. So yeah, reasons for everything. And I, again, I like the functionality of having to recruit my core, my stabilizer muscles when I'm doing like a static lunge with an arm action. So I like the variety of it as well. You know, some people are against compound ex movements like this or workouts like this, saying that they're not going to help you gain muscle in specific areas. And while that, that's not the target for me specifically, again, I wanna keep my body moving, I wanna have fun. I want, I mean, the, the muscle that's lifting the weight at its maximum capacity, so if that's my arms, not my legs, then it's getting activation, right? And especially if I'm doing two to three rounds of it, it's gonna get some good activation on that. But again, different strokes for different seasons. <laughs> It's not a saying, <laughs> different strokes for different folks, but you know what I mean? Like, again, I like to throw this in at the end of a week where, I'm also been, where I've also been focusing on heavy lifts, isolated exercises where I'm trying to build more muscle. So that's why I throw this in. If you're here just doing compound workouts all the time, great. You're, you're gonna benefit your body, you're moving, you're not being sedentary, you're increasing blood flow, you're activating muscle tissue. It's just, if you have a specific target of increasing lean mass, you're best to throw in some heavy workouts uh, where you're isolating those muscle groups specifically, or even lighter weight workouts where the volume is really high, um, but again, isolating those specific movements without adding a bunch in at the same time. I hope that makes sense. It makes sense in my head. <laughs> Let me know in the comments below if it makes sense to you as well. Thanks for joining everyone. Go move daily in your wellness and nutrition now and I'll see you in the next workout.